Good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hey, uh, and welcome to Weekly Tips. We put some sense in your tip jar. Welcome today. You're joined by me, Daniel, and today we're going to be gulping into the idea of drawing the horse girl. Uh, so come along with me, and we'll just start drawing it. Here I just start off just drawing the first drawing as you do. Um, your first drawing of something is usually not the best drawing in the world. It can be, depends on what kind of mood you are sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's not going to be the, the best drawing uh, usually. Um, definitely for me, some people might be different, uh, but mostly for me, um, I mean, it's a whole thing of drawing 10,000 drawings, you know, 10,000 bad drawings and getting a good drawing. It's that whole kind of um, process in a way. It's the same here, you know, I've got to draw a few drawings to fully kind of understand. And even if it does um, look good at the start, um, it might you it might look good but you might not fully understand how to draw it again and how to um, how things work. So I'm trying to, you know, work out the, the whole scale. I've got the kind of overall shape there, and that's what I focus on um, at the start, is getting that overall shape. That's really important to understand, is getting that overall shape of what you're drawing. Um, and then all these little parts, just, you know, breaking it up, uh, placing them, they are really off put at the moment, like the eyes too high up, um, all these little bits that um, you make errors with. And that's the thing, you've got to make, you know, the errors to have something to go by. Um, here I draw it again. I think I draw it three times in this video. Or might it just be the two. Um, but yeah, you know. Um, I do it again and I try a different way to start off um, dealing with you know drawing the whole shape now I understand the whole shape um, of drawing this and now I'm tackling those little bits here and there um, you know getting the, the teeth right and getting the um, you know the, the bottom jaw getting that right um, I would, you know, uh, I would keep drawing it and drawing it. Um, I didn't get a lot of time in this video at the moment, so I don't have all the time in the world to show you, like, you know, me drawing it like six or seven times. Um, but for the course of this video, um, I just managed to do it, draw it pretty much three times, um, which is only, a, you know, a starting proportion of it. Um, but it is, you know, enough to kind of show you uh, to get to a kind of a good drawing. Um, there are still lots of things to work out and understand where things lie and how things work. Um, and that's, you know, the whole process. You keep drawing, you keep creating. Um, it doesn't matter what you're drawing. I'm drawing a scale at the moment. Um, and you know this will help me in drawing some more horses in the future as well um, all that horse like creature like shape um, with having this understanding the scale um, I can go from here and add some um, muscles on top and then the outside layer and, and kind of fully understand how this thing pieces together um, so yeah hopefully you know you do Feel free to draw your own horse scale um, or whatever you want to draw. Draw it a few times um, and then come back and draw it again. I only like, in some of my other videos you see me drawing different views. Um, this one I only did one view. Um, but if you can draw it in different ways, um, it you know it goes much further into fully understanding how something looks and you can use it in many ways and forms you know there might be drawings out there you want to do 
um, it involves a horse, it involves um, something you're studying at the moment. Um, so learning it in different ways and forms, you can bring it into your drawings and, and creativity um, in so many ways and forms. If you learn how to draw it in, you know, side view, front view, um, and eventually you'll be drawing them with no reference, out of the blue, um, perfect, you know. <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing, you got to keep drawing. Um, I mean, the horse scale is quite long, um, but compared to other scales it is um, you know not too much different it's got a you know a uh, nose nasal um, bit cavity I think they're called um, don't quote me on that uh, but yeah the nose um, nose bit it's got the teeth it's got the two the front teeth that eat um, chew up the the hard stuff like the chewing off, um, picking up and cutting grass, and the inside molars that break everything up. Um, so, you know, it's similar to like a beer scale and things like that. It's got some similarities, and that's the thing with drawing scales as well, is understand the similarities in different scales really helps to um, kind of draw it better and understand how to draw. Um, so. Yeah, thank you for joining me. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, feel free to let me know down in the comments if you have anything to say. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.